Guess you better slow your cocaine down. All right. Hello, Harper the Fox. Hello, Max Mooseman. Aren't you on OnlyFans? I am somewhat famous on OnlyFans. I am too. Yeah. Parts of you, at least. Parts of me. <laughs> My dick. <laughs> this is the Dirty Folk Podcast. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we do things. <laughs> Uh, you can get extra stuff at dirtyfolk.com when you sign up for free. And uh, I personally would be just so tickled, warm inside, if you uh, if you gave us a five-star rating wherever you're listening to this show. That's a good idea. Five-star ratings. Tell your friends. If you don't rate us five stars, <clears throat> then fuck off. Don't leave a rating at all. Five stars only. I don't know if I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel firmly about We'd this. We'd appreciate a five-star rating, though. All right. Harper, my dear. Yes. As you know, I write big movie scripts for big movie stars. Yeah. And I'm working on one right now. For You are. Big movie star. He's all but signed on to it. But it's not finished, and I got a problem. And so I was hoping I could ask you a question, and you could uh, help me out with it i'd be happy to okay i want to give you a little background because you won't be able to answer my question exactly i don't think without without the context without the context of this developing of story script. it's mostly done um but there's just a plot point that i'm having trouble with so okay you ready for this this little synopsis yeah okay a super intelligent chimpanzee from the year 3033 travels back to the year 2022. You with me so far? Yes, I am. All right. His mission is to retrieve Johnny Depp and bring him to the year 2809, where he is to lead a revolution that will free the future chimps, thus making the civilization the super intelligent chimp traveled from possible. Mm, okay. Yeah, you got it so far? Yep. Okay. It's a little... Got a little uh, Terminator action. Yeah. Going on. Okay. Yeah, except Johnny Depp is John Connor, sort of. Yeah, but he's just Johnny Depp. Yeah. He's playing himself. Okay. The super intelligent chimp finds Johnny Depp wasted drunk, as you do. Mm -hmm. The chimp lures Depp into the time machine with the promise of cocaine. <laughs> very, very solid play I by so. the chimp. <laughs> Good writing. Johnny Depp's just trailing behind <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once aboard, having found no cocaine, Johnny is spoiling for a fight. Mm. Which he gets. <laughs> In the scuffle, levers are thrown and buttons are pushed and switches are switched, all which result in the time machine breaking. Oh, but shit. not before... It transports the two of them back to 1998. Oh, fuck. It also dematerializes them and rematerializes them in such a way that Depp's forearm is fused with the chimp's asshole. Oh, God. So he has like a chimp puppet yes. on the end of his arm. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. You follow everything so far. I do. You see the promise of the script and why Mr. Depp would be so interested in it. I would be thrilled as an actor to receive this script. It's challenging. It's epic. It's dynamic. Yes. And he gets to play himself. Yep. It's commentary. On something. <laughs> 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 All right. Long story short. Mm-hmm. Depp and the chimp, and we're getting to the question, sort of. Okay. Depp and the chimp must seduce and bed Vanessa Paradis, the mother of Depp's children, or Depp's kids will cease to exist. They must fix the time machine and travel to the year 2809 to save the chimp civilization. They must unscramble the genes, their genes, so that Depp's arm is no longer attached to the chimp's asshole. And they must do all of this before the chimp dies of sepsis. Before the chimp dies of sepsis from not being able to poo. Okay. Okay. What I'd like to know from you, Harper, 
Oh, <laughs> I can't imagine where I'm going to be an authority in this. You will. Okay. It's all going to make sense. Okay. You are a wealthy, sexy, French singer, actress, model. Mm-hmm. You are on a date with a charming but strange Johnny Depp, whom you've just met. Mm-hmm. A couple hours into the date, you discover the reason for his strangeness. His left arm is stuck to a super intelligent chimp's asshole. <laughs> How does Johnny successfully get you into bed? Okay. First question. Uh, is this Johnny Depp... This is this is 2022 Johnny Depp, or is it 1998 Johnny Depp? Good question. This is Hot Tub Time Machine rules. So he appears as 1998 Johnny Depp. Okay. But he has the knowledge and know-how and drug problems of 2022 Johnny Depp. Correct. Okay. Exactly. It's, it's exactly Hot Tub Time Machine rules. <laughs> Except he has a chimp for an arm. <laughs> Except it looks like he's fisting a chimp at all times. And the chimp can talk. <laughs> Eloquently. Okay, yeah. So the, the chimp speaks elegant English. The chimp is smarter than any human alive right now. Does the chimp have an accent? Yeah, a British accent, obviously. <laughs> okay. That's what I imagine. Yeah. Does he have like a little waistcoat? Does he have a Ah, you know that's interesting. He's he's not written with a waistcoat at the moment. Okay, that th Okay, the, this pair of things that we're coming to here immediately helps get me into bed with Johnny Depp. One, if he looks like 1998 Johnny Depp, okay. He's gonna have a pretty easy time. Uh, two, if the chimp fused by the asshole to his arm is like proper and wearing a little waistcoat <laughs> and he like speaks nicely to me and he's like helping johnny uh -huh. they can do a bit of a like are you suggesting that this is an ad not a subtract <laughs> that i am i've been trying to solve this problem of it how might... <laughs> does she how does he convince this this beautiful model into bed now because he seduced her once but mm -hmm. you know he didn't have a, a chimp asshole on his arm yeah, I mean, you got to put yourself in the perspective of beautiful, wealthy, French actress, model, singer. Uh, she's like hot, wealthy, successful dudes trying to fuck her dime a dozen. Uh-huh. Like all, all manner of dudes trying to fuck her dime a dozen. Like uh -huh. novelty. There, There's some novelty at work here. So you want and the chimp to be involved. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I think so. I think that they'd be able to do, it, like, it's not exactly good cop, bad cop, but it's sort of, like, I feel like Johnny Depp pretty easily adopts the role of, like, bad boy, like, drug problems, maybe kind of crass, but charming, like, degenerate. And then the chimp is, like, surprisingly sophisticated so like you kind of get both and it ends up being this sort of like uncomfortable three-way where like so you're it's fucking an animal this, you're fucking but... this chimp <laughs> he's more of a witness because <laughs> he's he's not doing any of the, the See, penetrating. it seems like you're backing off but it seems <laughs> like in your internal imagining of this, before you started scrambling and running away, like, you are getting double teamed by Johnny Depp and his chimp arm, and that Johnny Depp's super intelligent chimp arm is probably <laughs> fucking you too. Okay, so... Hmm... Yeah, let me think through the logistics here. Because I'm imagining, I've so far been imagining the date where the chimp, like, once discovered, is sort of acting as wingman. And he's a charming wingman. But he is fused to Johnny Depp's arm, so he has to be there for the fucking. Well, let's, okay, let's, that's true, he does have to be there. Um, 
you are you are assuming that he's charming. So this is sort of like a buddy comedy odd couple thing. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, he's kind of uptight. This isn't a fun loving. Him and Johnny Depp do not naturally get along. Right. They did just get into a an intense brawl and Johnny is still probably jonesing for some coke. All right. Johnny Depp's here for a good time. And the chimpanzee is here to save a civilization and try to get this. There's there's a bit of um, of Bill and Ted going on here, mm-hmm. right? It's unlikely leader of the revolution that will save the world is 2022 Johnny Depp traveled in time to whatever year I said, 2806, I think. Uh, and And this chimp is here to save his whole people he is like an elite soldier chosen mm-hmm. for this mission sent back in time he is not here right for a good so time. he's he's doing the fucking like clap every word get with the program johnny like it's interesting that that's your idea of a very serious <laughs> human <laughs> a very serious human man <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Just some queenie hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's a very serious person. Elite soldier it's, of the future. No. <laughs> elite soldier of the future clapping back. Yeah. What um, is wrong with you? <laughs> okay. okay. I want you to really. So they don't get along. They're, the chimp is not helping with this mission. The chimp doesn't give a shit about Johnny's kids existing. Well, I wouldn't say that because the chimp realizes the delicate nature of time. <laughs> <laughs> and is Johnny Depp without kids the same Johnny Depp who makes his civilization possible? I'm just like, I can barely focus on what you're saying. I'm just stuck on an image of what Car- Pirates of the Caribbean would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like Jack Sparrow running memes, he's just <laughs> fisting a chimp. <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> my my so my suspicion was that you would need to fall in love with Johnny without knowing, so that in the first couple hours or hour or whatever before you discover the chimp a chimp isn't small how do you hide this yeah i've been thinking about this <laughs> so i thought maybe if johnny was like positioned in such a way that he was sat on a bench next to like a false boulder or something <laughs> or a statue like a, a fancy garden statue. Mm-hmm. So it could look like his arm is behind it. Mm-hmm. Right? So he's sitting like very casually <laughs> and his arms sort of splayed out. Right? Right. But this chimp is inside the boulder and or statue. Yeah. This is a custom build that they have <laughs> to create. <laughs> well, yeah, but he's got a super intelligent chimpanzee with him. Okay. And it's 1998. They don't not have tools. Right. And he's a movie star. He knows prop people and <laughs> prop people. <laughs> Jimmy, I need a favor. Yes. <laughs> 100%. That's, this is all I've that can got be written a in. sticky wicket here. <laughs> this is one scene. This is no problem at all. This is very easy to write. Okay. Okay. Um, so it takes a moment. And maybe it's... That's what I would figure is that like, if he comes out and is just honest about it, if he just shows up, like, "Hi, oh, I'm Johnny Depp. This is my chip off. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Vanessa Paradis. You don't understand. We must fuck." <laughs> I assumed that wouldn't work. <laughs> no, uh, your assumption is poor. <laughs> <laughs> we have to fuck like- to save the future. <laughs> You have any cocaine? <laughs> yeah, it's uh I think you cannot underestimate how fucking fine like late 90s early 2000s Johnny Depp is and the power of <laughs> the 
<laughs> you don't understand. We must fuck. <laughs> like, there is something about, like, a dude who's clearly got problems but is also taking charge. We're just like, all right, I'll see where this goes. <laughs> you say we must fuck? Okay. So a handsome person who has... <laughs> <laughs> In the reality of my life and my marriage, <laughs> if a handsome enough lunatic sewed a chimpanzee to his arm and told you the future <laughs> depended on it, I'm getting cheated on. I mean, you're... No. <laughs> <laughs> Is she not single in this story? It's... She, as far as I know, she's single. Okay. S sing just imagine fucking... like. Youthful single Harper. Uh-huh. You don't think this would work on me? <sighs> he's think he's about attached your wife. to a chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> Which is extraordinarily unique and interesting. I really thought this was going to be a problem. It almost doesn't work <laughs> as well for the movie if it's no problem. <laughs> I mean, there could be hijinks in the logistics of how they fuck. Like, I don't think any, like, he's in control position would work if he's trying to manage the weight of a chimp. But, like... The chimp could stand on your back. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just imagining, like, like, I know this is a super intelligent chimp, but, like the sort of angry, like, excitable chimp motions where he's, like, slapping his feet around and, like, wiggling and Well, yeah, he's throwing likely shit. to get horny, right? You think? You think a chimp gets horny over a human woman? I don't know, but if he's also just surly, doesn't that matter? Yeah, either way. Does the but, chimp but have to be better, into it's it? It's better if, like, Johnny is pissed with the chimp and he's like, you're fucking ruining this for me. There is some sort of insect in here um we'll let it be you're working uh you're gonna get dead by black widow it's gonna happen um yeah it's it's better if like they're actively squabbling while the sex is going on and like and johnny's fighting to make the sex happen <laughs> This is, <laughs> it's better if they're fighting? Yeah, I think so. Harper, it's a spider. What do you want? I, I want to contain it. It's it's where our son plays. <sighs> Hurry up. This is okay. shitty in this podcast. Okay. Ah! I'm going to save everything. Um. <laughs> yeah, so you don't think... You don't think that there's some sort of uh, some fun hijinks involved if they are squabbling and fighting with each other. Is that the sense you mean it's better? I mean, not only for the script, but like for... <laughs> it's not like any... you meant for the sex. Like if this yeah, is an angry chimp any... pouting off to the side and being like, hurry up. A great deal of my like early twenties sexual exploits center around like would this make a fun story? Like would I want to tell someone about this later? So yeah, like fucking... and you'd want to tell people about your sexual encounter with a chimpanzee. <laughs> I'm not fucking the chimp. He's just there. But what happens if he gets horny? That makes it way worse. Then I'm uncomfortable. Okay, and there's so, no party so that's concerned that this chimpanzee, like that, if you go home and bed Johnny Depp, that this chimpanzee is gonna get a hard on, and with his super chimp strength, is gonna grab your head and start fucking you in the mouth. Yeah, that makes it a lot worse. How are you just considering this? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, these are the kinds of things you consider before you fuck somebody, Harper. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't it didn't occur to me that the chimp might get horny for a human woman and like and that he might try and rape me 
Well, but earlier, it didn't seem like you needed to be raped. You're all over the map on this one. I wouldn't have to be raped by Johnny Depp. I asked point blank if the chimp would be involved earlier, and you said yes. I said involved in the sense that he's present and he's like, like verbally participating. I said that you would, that I thought you were shying away from it, but it looked very much like you were thinking about getting double teamed and you just no. made a kind of a coy face. No, I I made no the such people coy face. people will hear it. They, they will hear it. I did not make an audible or visible coy face about being double teamed with a chimp involved. It seems like in your estimation, the natural progression for this script is there's not much of a hurdle. They expect a hurdle mm -hmm. when they get to Vanessa Paradis, but she's freaky deaky down, which is what you seem to think would, would work and mm -hmm. would happen. And then... Like, they both fuck her, and, like, like he has two kids. <laughs> One of his kids comes out part chimp <laughs> or something. Yeah, because I guess their DNA has blended. Uh, no, I mean, because she's fucking the chimp, too. I mean, I don't claim to know what Vanessa Paradis is into. I... I am I am cool with and it's perhaps enhanced by the chimp being present. I do not want to fuck the chimp. So you just want the chimp standing close by and jerking off? I don't want him jerking off. I, it, it might be worse. I don't want him to enjoy it. Something about this spider walking by changed your mind. Because at the top of this, you wanted him to enjoy it. <sighs> I think it's going to be clear to the listening public. But okay, so perhaps... In Terminator logic here, it is a thing of they go back, this all happens, they fuck her, the kid's DNA gets scrambled with the chimps, and maybe that's the origin of the line of chimps that it could be. Johnny has to come right. back it's and essential. lead the revolution. Yes. It's essential They think that this, this is happened. all against the plan, but this is actually how it always had to happen. Yeah. Okay. That that gets me going at least a little bit. So yeah, you you've got some some help with your your big movie in the sense that I can write it, not that I have a little bit of a heart on. Just want to make that clear <laughs> to everybody. Uh, all right. Well, I'm Max Boosman. It's my wife Harper the Fox. That's me. Uh, sign up for the mailing list at DirtyFolk.com, where you get advanced content, and uh, we're gonna be putting a lot more bonus content through there pretty soon here. Uh, so sign up now and uh get to see what we have planned uh join the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other people on there we're gonna run out of hundreds soon and have There's to go so into, many hundreds going to thousands mm. uh it's all free so you can sign up there and then uh you can also find us in one of the most popular only fans accounts on the planet but you have to go find it go hunting i'm not gonna tell you yeah no help Zero help. I'm Harper the Fox. I'm Max Mooseman. Have a nice day, people.